What's good, everybody? I appreciate you watching my channel, looking at my videos, but be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. I can put it in the words. Yeah. Smell like good food and herbs. Partner, let's get it off the curb. Uh -huh. Bro, wait until we drop. All the real players from Tay High. We was raised off Cam at the Bayline. All right, well, one of my favorite sneaker guys in the sneaker industry. Lance the guy, how you doing, Lance? Good, good. How you doing, bro? All right, great, great. So, just before we get started, man, can you just talk about the culture, the sneaker culture in the NBA? And obviously, the rule has been lifted that you guys can wear any colorways that you want to, mm -hmm. do your own customs or anything. Can you talk about how how cool is that now? Uh, yeah, and no, I mean, uh, the sneaker uh, like culture in the NBA has kind of like changed a little bit. I mean, you have so many guys doing so many different things right now, where you have guys with new brands and, and guys doing so many customizations. So, uh, it's it's been it's been great being me being with Q4 and being able to uh, put whatever I want on my shoe and, and, uh, and really like honor and, and resemble the people I want to. So uh, it's been really cool. I mean, especially being a 90s kid, I've been doing a lot of cartoons, doing a lot of movies from the 90s. Uh, and then being able to honor Martin Luther King and um, plenty more this, this upcoming February for Black History Month. So I'm excited. I'm excited to, to continue to uh, just take it one day at a time and, and continue to blow it up, you know? All right, so one thing is this, like, there's guys that are sneakerheads, and there's guys that are like super sneakerheads, and you're like in that level of being a super sneaker. I mean, you're active on social media, you have the LG Kicks deal, and then you also have a little podcast that you do with my friend, our friend actually, Travis, yeah, yeah. Sneaker Reporter. Can you talk about that, man, how that comes together and everything for you as well? Yeah, nah, it's, it's been pretty cool. I mean, um, me and Trav uh, really have built a relationship over time with uh, being able to have a podcast and uh, a day in our kicks, and uh, it's been dope just being able to talk about sneakers, talk about uh, life in basketball, life in football, whatever's going on right now. And um, it's been it's been uh, really really successful for so many people listening in. And uh, at first we were kind of like just learning how to how to pretty much manage the time, and now we've like cut it down. So it's been great. It's been great. And then um, and then being able to just hey be a part of like the culture, being like a sneakerhead is. Uh, it's kind of like taking off uh, for me, especially having my own sneaker page, OG Kicks 9. Uh, I mean, it's, it's blowing up now and it's going to continue to blow up. It's, I mean, we're doing a lot of, a lot of special things, special giveaways, uh, being a part of the culture and being a part of the community. I mean, that's, that's always the biggest thing, giving back to the community and, and trying to uh, help out where I can. But it's, it's pretty cool just, just knowing that uh, it's, hey, it's, it's, it's growing daily. It's cool. All right, so now you have guys like Travis Scott, you know, different kind of like rappers, entertainers outside of the actual players right. that have their own sneakers. Can you talk about like, what do you think about that? You know, Travis having this Jordan collabs, he has the four, and now he has the one that'll be dropping pretty soon. Um, then you get guys that are with Adidas, like Pusha T, that has his own deal. You know, Two Chains has his own shoe. Can you talk about how big that is, man, for the sneaker culture? No, it's great. It's great because you know that um, things have really changed. I mean, I remember athletes were so popular in like the 90s with like having sneaker deals and, 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 and having, having so much uh, like influence but now but now having like artists being this is Blake man Blake is crazy man but uh, just having having the influence of like artists nowadays that really uh, changed the game because it's uh it's more samples out there more uh just like uh sneaker heads that like they want to have their sneakers so um it's continued to grow and it's and so many hype beats now that like blow up the sneakers uh it's pretty cool to like go out there and get a few so, so it's cool all right, last question, man. Detroit's making a playoff push this year. You guys are trying to get in that mix. Can you talk about what the team has done over the course of this year, even the all season, to get you guys prepared for that push? Yeah, no, I think uh, just taking one day at a time. That's been our approach all season, and that's what we're going to continue to do is take it one game at a time and uh, keep enjoying the process. I mean, we got guys like Blake, uh, guys like Reggie Bullock that have really been uh, doing a great job for us this season, man. Uh, us, especially me, being a, being a, uh, having a bench role, I mean, just coming off, be, being ready to go, uh, taking the, making the most of my opportunities, and just continue to do that and, and help out where I can. I appreciate you, boss. Yep.